Kami right in the corner, awakening the first kill, but the timing's got to be great. Vivid looks to be stacking up behind him. Oh my gentle Jesus, the timing on this one. Kami wins the first. 20 seconds left, Vivid now on the hunt. And Cameron McGillian is gonna make a run for it. He is gonna fly now. And here we go, Vivid still hot on his tails. He's still making the play, and if you can find the kill in time, he should be able to get the defuse. Kami! Finally gets the kill. I'm from Toronto Ultra, still going strong. They're on B, the first segment's nearly complete. And they've got all the cuts right. They got number one, Vance. He's sitting in the back of the map. Now you're actually forcing those spawns out. You basically just have to focus on Church in the alley. Can we go to pick up Church? There's one, there's two. You got the collection. Nearly two ticks have come Ooh. through. He can't get the third, but Vance is still here. He needs to slow this push down. He's got himself two kills now. They're going to find the third. Can't get it done, but time is on their side. Kami now flooding in. There's the flank you need. You still have a player back tank there for Florida Mutineers. And on the point, completely wiped out. So no one's left now for the players of Toronto Ultra except for Kami there on point. And you notice trying to play this one carefully. House, it can be a very chaotic kill. Trying to make their way around the flank, but Ultra doing a great job of, of, of at least taking them out from the back. And then applying the forces toward the front as Kami now sits on three in a row. That's a full wipe. High game if they hold every single second left. Thieves can still win it here, but Kami is trying to prevent it the best way that he can, as that'll be four in a row for him. It's going to be a race. It's going to be a race now over toward P1. We've got ourselves a neck and neck game, and Vance, he gets picked apart. Like he gets saucy. And this is map, by the way, where you might have the sniper battle. He's going mid, but oh. Sim is out there. Sim finds the pick. Kami responds. Now go battle. Battle the kid on one side. Wait a minute. Vance creates his own trades. Red there to shut him down. In the sniper battle, Sib has rotated towards mid. And he can't hear this bomb getting planted. It's going to go down two versus two. The Rooks. Bang! Kami finds another. Fred now on the 1v2. 35 on the clock. Playing this one slow. He has Deddy activated. Oh, you sneaky devil. They put themselves in the corner. This one. Oh my god! <sighs> Pred with the snap of a Kami. What a spot to be in. And I think that is either maybe a good read by Pred, but that looked like good comms to me. He said, hey, if he's in that corner, they're going to be in the other one. That's going to be the setup, so. Shots exchanged in a V5. We go Cami on the cuts now. Mac gets brought down as well. Cameron McGilligan finds three. That's the break. That's Ultra's hard point. And just trades back and forth in Toronto, just doing a very solid job on defense, right? Taking care of business, making sure no one's slipping through, making sure Cami maybe can heat up just a little bit off the game to performance. And this has been a, a fairly dominant, but oh. also fairly standard round of control so far. Toronto taking care of business on defense. Now this should open up this top plat push coming in from Ultra. Well, there's a reason to bark. Some great plays coming in from the Ultras. They'll get to three for one in their favor. Cammy around the corner he goes. My word. Slasher never stood a chance. That's now going to be two ticks already in for Toronto. They continue to apply the pressure as Cammy. That's going to be a seven spree. Talk about streaks and talk about a round number two win. Okay, Toronto. It's on to Bance and Cami, and the Scotsman will bring out the glide oh bomb. You've got to be kidding me. They might walk away with this. It's now a one versus three, all on to Cami. Slides out, takes one down on the slasher, also takes it on to Hook. It's a 1v1. Dason will take him down on the ladder. And what had to be a 1v1 victory for him, you've got to be kidding me. That being Drazel, he'll have to back on up. See if he runs right into the jaws of Cami. Or if this will be a problem of a spot for the thieves. One, make Ooh. it two. Big two piece coming in from Cami to just keep the positioning in towards P5. Hey, you hit flowers. Hey, it's Charles and whatever. Charles and whatever. Weak that's nice. Hey. Absolute the block. Oh boy. Push me out. Can he push me out? Nice, boy. Nice. 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 Will suit the team who is in the lead. Ultra will pick up as much as they possibly can do. There's any other hill. The rotation is solid, but really, as said, don't pick up a lot of time. However, if you find four dead, <laughs> then it makes it a lot easier. Inside looking for the cross. Not going to find it. Look at the aggressive hit coming in here from London. Bounce is trying to survive as it's killing legs. It's an absolute blood battle in the middle of the map. It's just suddenly a two versus two. Somehow, Ultra managed to get out of that one. It could have gone very wrong for them. Cami looking for another streak, though. This will be huge. If you can find the next kill, puts you in a 2v1. Glide bomb available. 
An insight with the sniper. Genuinely anyone's game. Who blinks first? Both teams. A little bit of hairs on the neck standing on end. The sweat, the stress. Just trying to figure it out. Both teams desperately trying to figure out where the other team are positioned here. They don't know where the hit's coming in. Cammy's going to find one, but doesn't actually oh, get zero. That felt like a kill that should have come on through for Cammy. Doesn't hit his shots. And all of a sudden, the round breaks into life once more. The hit is made. The bomb is down. Ultra to defend it. Ravens have to find the retake. Keep an eye on Gizmo. Can he find a pick before he maybe gets shot in the back here? He's in no man's land. Oh. There's the shots. There's the glide bomb. Hello! Here it comes in zero. You can run for cover all you want. Hey. You can't get hey. away from fate. <laughs> oh. There's Ultra. Bring things back. 6-5 day two. Series on our hands. We talk about the ice in the veins of Ultra over and over again. Bant said it's something they want to make sure. And there we have it. Zero making the nice two-piece does eventually fall, but he will set up the breach to walk away with a few of their early seconds. Cammy, for God's sake, nearly takes down the whole team and then some. And still lingering as he could be a problem. Nicely handled there from the breach, but again, the layers only continue to show themselves for Ultra. And just pay attention to number seven. He's the player that's trying to go for the flank, but inside he's able to take him down, secure the spawns for Ultra once again. Cammy doing everything he can to hold down top. Should he find one, finds the second as well. One player that is trying to push up his number six, which is going to be Methods. There's only 25 seconds left on his hard point. Look at number four, already thinking next. Clean next off the rotation. And that's the scariest part, right, about this Toronto team is on a map like Kavutu, and you, you, it almost feels like the chess pieces are moving on the board, a map that oftentimes comes down to the, those rotations. Well, it hasn't been great for Toronto. Big round for Breach and Methods. Drop from the top side of turn. Cammy will answer with both. And insight right on Q with Nero. It's beautiful search and destroy. It's music happening on Tuscan. Four down in four seconds. Such a clean round coming in from Ultra, all in the back of Cami. Once he finds that first blood onto Methods, you saw that Boston in the 3v4, they usually win a majority of those rounds, but Cami does not give him his positioning. He watches two players jump out of top church. Don't give away too much time on P1. Good kill coming in from Cami. If you can find this next one in the third, good players. Can you find a fourth as well? Not going to quite find it. Against Toronto Ultra, and you can tell they are trying to up the pace of this one. Continuing, just trade blows everywhere. Yeah, that's been working out for them so far, but Ultra are uh, slowly but surely clawing their way back Ooh. in, and it's thanks to Kami. Four streak from him, he started to step it up a little bit. 12 and 19 is not the numbers you would come to expect. Fire. Fire. I'm, I'm on shot. Just weak. Still fire the side. Nice. 17. Big 17. Yeah, 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 let's push left, let's push left. Yeah, they go, can go, be go. mid, they can be mid, careful. Once close church on me. The close the church, gone top church. I'm back, yeah, dead. Back. Nice. Is he still top? One's gonna be top church, yeah, he's top church. One's back tank camp, one's yep, back yep, tank. Yep, 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 yep. See the guy's I spawned in, I spawned in. Back tank, nice. We're flipping, we're flipping. Yep. I'm green, I'm a green. He's top, he's top by, top by, top by. Hidden hill. Far across. Yeah, let's see under the back. I'm playing top back. Top on me, I'm beating him. Go push, go push now. Two, two, two. Well, heater in the comms for Ultra and heater on the map at the moment. This game is getting away from Minnesota. Over a hundred point difference now as Ultra are feeling themselves. Kleenex. Breaks open the hill all on his own. Doesn't find a BZ though. Meets his maker as he falls on down. Simp inside the church. He falls. That's four men dead. Ultra can extend their wings here a little bit. Get a little bit of purchase on mid map. That's going to be the full 15. <laughs> FaZe going to have to set up for P3. Uh, that spawn from Atlanta FaZe at the start of the game. They just all spawned on each other. And right at the back as well. Atlanta FaZe though should be able to hold this one that's against them. I would say that. But Cammy's now on a six. Will be looking for the glide bomb and finds a BZ as well. Oh my goodness, he finds Arsides. That's an A streak now for Cami. And they have started off very, very hot here. This is a little bit more like the Toronto Ultra that we've seen last year. Can he find Simp as well? Yes, he can. The grenades and the artillery find their way through, though. Front green, front green. Front green, I'm killing one cross in time. I don't yeah. see yeah, one deep, deep, by the way. Deep, deep crim dead. One's super deep. Yeah. Where's mid, mid cross? Well, cross we coming. S2? I'm looking at yeah. yeah, Kiss, one shot, one shot on the cart. Right, one so one, two, one shot on the cart in green. I have one's S2, S2 in green. S2 in green. Yeah, push back, push back, Kiss, mate. One's deep. That's good. Kiss with one shot. Kiss with one shot. Keep deep, 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 de
all righty friends welcome back and my goodness what a little lesson that was with toronto by the way another stun comes in another team kill for new york i believe that tallies up to three but even with the new addition jay i mean we talked about it a lot with the toronto boys that sense of urgency sometimes doesn't feel like it's there but with the new addition scrappy was getting involved trying to communicate the best way possible like i said it just feels like he fits in quite nicely yeah, he's, so, he's a great player. He's doing it in the gun skill. And then when you listen to the comms, one thing that gets me really excited with young players is when they go, that, like, that gets me going right there. <laughs> he was doing that after every single kill he was able to pick up. The only thing is, when they were trying to invest that glide bomb, NYSL were ready for it. They were not allowing Toronto Ultra to get a lot of time off of that front side of P3. And they were able to execute and have the rotation towards P4. We saw Toronto Ultra were not able to break in the first go around. They need to do it here. Dominated early, but New York able to recollect themselves, recompose, and get their first dub on Gavutsu with this lineup. As we said, they've yet to play it with Kismet in their earlier bit of progress. Seven more seconds, they can still win it here. Paris, they've got to contest. They've also got to think about the rotation. Cami turns, a 40 bomb hit, and a W in the books. Once more for Toronto as they come out in a commanding way. Let the game go a little bit toward the end. But overall, a W they can be proud of as they answer first. Great opportunity for him as he looks to try to find the timing. Nearly hits the beamer on the tip. Round the corner goes Cammy, stays alive. Oh, it's beautiful from Cammy. A quick little 1v2 hits the turn on the temp and will also put into the fuse. Glide bomb earned and Toronto keeping up that streak. Now five in a row. Such a beautiful read coming in from Cami. He knows that the player has to commit towards the bomb plant. Even though he does get it down, his teammate just died to tempt in towards top radio. So it's all about turning and just trying to use your reaction time to win that gunfight. He does it perfectly. Not an easy thing to do. Over to B, we were there for a moment. His insight is there, Cami. Oh dear. Cami and Bance, they're on B. Ravens have got to do something special here. We've changed things. I was talking about scripts. We've just ripped it up and thrown it out of the window. We're capturing B now. Our city is there with them. At least Cammy gets a trade, and maybe that's enough to stop it. An interesting attempt, but maybe for not too much. Faze, you get in their spawn, you make a little bit of mixing in, but you get hunted down. Ultra doing a nice job. So far, though, so good. Here comes the hit from Faze. Flying forward. Is Cammy and Kleenex in the kill feed? Another for Cammy. That's going to be two now, and that's it. Faze, all dead. And keep in mind, in that moment, Selium was on a five. So they finally win a rotational battle. They shut down the streak. They shut down MC. And now they're working on chipping away at that lead. Basically, dead last about stage three. And then Kleenex advance. Faced point eight yesterday versus Atlanta phase. You need them to have a great performance here. Yeah, you absolutely do. And one thing as well, the Paris are going to have to look out for is not just the SGs on the other side, but it's going to be the ARs. They also had a phenomenal performance in that game versus Atlanta phase. And it's for Kleedex having his stamp of approval right now in the game. Paris on the rotation. have had spawns for Column, but they've really yet to get a ton of seconds at this one. They haven't been able to get any time off of this Ultra, just putting a lot of pressure on through bottom church, through top flat. Not allowing Paris Legion to get any time. Now currently down by 37 points. Cammy doing everything he can. Great snap onto the first player, but that's going to be Paris Legion. Rallying around. This incredible crowd knocking on the door of 200 seconds, and now it could be Cammy's turn. It could oh. be Cammy's turn. A little three streak there for him, Toronto. And there's another first blood. I mean, that player top church right now. It, I mean, Cammy, right? Cammy finds two picks. He's taking those gunfights. That. that player, they, that was havoc, lurking up the middle of the map, going for the jump up. They deal with that. Is that pants with a sniper? I think it was. I saw some glint there. Pretty sure I saw glint. Yeah. yeah. Unless I made that up. I mean, that's, you saw it. No, no, no. It looked like glint to me. But that's just one of those deaths. Like you have a four v two. Just play together. Don't give them a free pick. Now you give them a shot in this round. Do not give them another free one. I know usually in these types of situations they'll usually say the second guy is the one that's at fault, but. Well, it could be Cammy here. I mean, if he does get caught out, because both of the players attached and Standy starting to work up towards B. You have Standy just lurking well side. A bomb is planted. And well, that's Cammy, he's winning it. Three in the round. Can he find the ace? Can Cammy find it? He's going to push on through. Oh, he might have it. Yeah. Cammy with all four. King Cammy with the ace in the round. He's back and dominating.
What's he doing? Wait, spawn, spawn, he might be down, he might be stable. Go deep, go deep. Yeah, yeah. Top one, top one, top one. Two, two, two. Body back, two, two, two. Yeah, top one, top one. Body back, back, body back. Body 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 back, body back. Ultra are still trying to hold from the front. This is an HPJ where historically they have not been great at LAT with the early time. And despite the team made, Toronto come roaring back. A great 20 seconds available. And, well, majority of the thieves are thinking about that next rotation for P1. Yeah, because that P1 is their money hill. They're not going to try to attack this and have left players off that rotation. It's Cammy currently on a two spree. He's trying to at least set himself up. Essentially set up a pinch, but takes down on boy. Now they have the man advantage off the rotation. All out attack through the middle of the map. Octane does find one, but the trades are in. Able to work together to accomplish that first kill, but Cami on reply now brings it to a 3v3. Yeah, Cami knew he had Kenny trapped in that corner. So now in a 3v3, you're gonna have two players from Ultra. He's trying to approach that A bomb. But Tom's gonna be down mid P5. Now they do go through the thing of Draza, but Envoy finds one, but does get traded. So now in the 2v2, Draza and Octane. Versus Kami and Insight, the battle of the ARs. Oh, Kami. He's able to find another. Draza. It's all up to him. Spots the first. Great pistol shots. Coordinated on to Kami. Now, or rather, coordinated on to Insight. Now a 1v1 versus Kami. 25 seconds on the clock. Let's see what Kami elects to do. I think Kami might have spotted him on the cross. So now you know that Draza is at least going to put himself in position to check this bomb, but. Timing, he's gonna have to slide towards the back alley, he wins it! Cammy plays it so patient. Watches the cross as he crosses back to top flat. You know that Draza has to check the bomb and it eventually commit towards the rotation. But gets the timing. Cammy trying to hit the route. Trying to hit the route on the flank. Aware of the timing, incredibly careful. Through the doors, drops one. Draza on the other side just has to play the time and it will be Toronto! Nine in a row in this game mode. Show tremendous ice in these final two rounds. Right there in the 2v2. You see both the LA Thieves players commit towards the flank pit. Insight just does a great job of stalling out the clock as much as he can before he eventually gets taken down. And then that is what you call a next level play coming in from Cami. Minute 15 on the clock, two more ticks to go for LAT as three hit the deck. Make it all four, beautiful pinch coming in from Cami. So now find himself on a three, three spots on boy. Unfortunately, can't take down Octane. Now with a minute to work with Ultra, take control of these lives. Feels like all eyes are gonna be on this new SMG duel of LAG. Granted, I know we're on Gavutu, but nonetheless, it's gonna be fun to watch their progress and oh, right. could oh. be some great plays so far off the start though it is all toronto a great little moment there for cami as he eventually does fall off of the spree an excellent beginning that is step number one uh, of the three-step process you have ring control now you can start making moves that's one gunfight but doesn't make the cross any easier a busy does get traded out but again right now phase just trying to get their way to the point and so made it home yeah he does make it on Cami trying to find something here, just open up the defense. That's a good shot there on two Arsties. Cleans up one, Simp now to the backside. Try to get some pressure on before the reinforcements arrive. And here he made a meal, he made a meal of it. He made a real hard run there. Cami now with the ring. Can he keep control? It's phase are there, guns are up. Stellium, he's gonna stay alive for now. Here come the reinforcements. Phase starting to fortify that position at ring. Cami's gotta go big, and this is great. Finds at least one teammate there to pick it up. Toronto Ultra, stay alive. He's opening the door for his teammates and Ultra want to slam it shut. They do not want to give a tick away and bring this back to an even game. Out of the fire. And that's exactly what Ultra had to do. Unfortunately, the fire is the where they are. Only Cami left alive. And he's going to try and stay alive towards Boat because he does not want his teammates put into that spawn trap that we see so often on the in control and just diving around top Boat. Eventually gets the kills going down. So he goes to the chat towards the front and he's going to try and make it. And Scum does eventually get that kill. Ultra have to regain. Afro in a precarious position, but it could be the difference. Cami already finds one. Advantage to Ultra. They've got it down to a two versus four. They're looking for the last player. It's a one versus four now. And it's only going to be Afro. He's great, but I don't think he's great enough. Ooh. It's Cami with a 360 off the top rope. 
brings it to Ultra, two to one. And again, very slow rounds, aren't they? It's getting down to the final few seconds and... For the side of Thieves. A little B purchase coming on through. Kills in though for Kami. Ultra not with too much control, but Kami's doing his best to find some. They're waiting for the flank at the same time. It's going to be fine towards the back. Stop's already found one as well. Kami, trying to make sure nobody comes through. Oh! Kami has just had Optic completely. They didn't actually get that final tick as far as where came up with the elimination, so the tick wasn't there. And eventually he will be. Optic looking to capitalize. Kami will find Scum. And Ultra is going to dig out these Optic players that are in the midst. As Kami finds a second. Good job from Ultra. Shotzi the only one left. They clear him out. And now that's going to be time in the side towards B. But look at this. It's coming on through over towards A. Optic only leave one left there. And Shotzi has to try and get across. There's two members of Ultra to deal with. They're still inside the point. Ultra have committed everything towards it. Oh my goodness. They've been played like they played Ultra. It's a second tick coming through already. They're looking for it. Scum's going to go down. Kami's ready for it. Who's going to try and jab it? Kami throws. But it's long through platform. And the second tick will be Woo! in. Kami is having a five streak for him. Fans gets another one. Well, Illy Elise is there to shut him down. And funnily enough, no ticks have actually come through. Ultra have kept his boat control, but that doesn't mean they're getting any of this time. They are still fighting to the nail. Well, they've got control. They've got boat control. No time. Now on the point they go. Let's go for a quick listen in. And you're on to Ultra. Brought down. Late break there from Optic Texas. Three players on the half point. Oh, Kami. Kami. oh my god! One more player on the point. Here comes Bans. Just trying to slow this one down and again. Optic Texas, they have lost their legs here on Tuscan. Not sure how much we saw on the cross, but shots, he don't care. He's flying forward. Nades are in. Kami with the opening kills. Looking all scum on the outside. About to hit the stairwell. And inside, eats that nade for breakfast. Kami now from behind. Doesn't lose a single man. Kami. What is that? Dashing at the last man left alive. And I cannot believe what I've seen. Ultra. They have got round 11 written all over them. What was that? Square up at A, and you get shut down. That should make it oh! up for He is loud, he is gone, and Cammy gets the final stamp. They are smoking. Here we go. Illy's like, yeah, I got him. No, what was that? Tossed out, bruised and battered. Oh, Toronto, but Cammy! Oh! Cammy!